Well, hello everyone. Uh, what we're going to be working on today is iPhone 7 Plus has been liquid damaged. Um, there is a bit of a hole there where it's been broken, so liquid is gone in there. Um, kind of just want to the channel. It's been a while since the last. Holds up. It's not the greatest equipment, um, but hopefully it gets through today. So this I'm say, iPhone 7 Plus been liquid damaged. Um, we're going to try and see if we can get data. So what I do need to do is this is what I'm going to do. There's nothing really to look at under here at the moment. So if we come back to here. Do is just get all the screws out of here so we can, uh, so we can pop, have a look and see what we're playing with. So, when I say I'm relaunching the channel, I have done videos in the past, as you will know, um, but I can't have a look. With stuff, and I didn't then really do many more videos, and it kind of died off a bit, so I never really kept up with uploading. Just a few bits of videos on the channel at the moment as we sort of speak, but um, yeah, just want to try and turn the attention to it, try and get it going a bit more, and try and build that up and just make it better. Good. Hopefully good anyway. Right, so if I So it could be as little as just a dead battery, maybe. Um, I'm not seeing any kind of corrosion. I can see that the sticker uh, or damage sensor has been activated. Maybe we'll find something when we get these shields off. So what we're going to do is get the shields off, get it disconnected, um, and then test for sure. So we'll just plug in our connector. Right, this video is jumping around. I don't know if that's coming through your end or whether it's my computer, but it's kind of jumping out a bit, keep freaking out a bit around here. Um, hopefully, it doesn't show up in the final video. So that's our shield. Screen is out, everything is disconnected. So if we turn to the scope, I actually think the jumping is the webcam rather than my actual. Than anything else. Let's bring that into focus. So we're looking around the battery connector. So we get that in focus a bit more. There we go. 
can't actually see any corrosion. So if we take off take off the dock flags. Can't see nothing. Um this whole board looks really What we've got here is a new keyboard out of the way. Can't actually see that. Let's pull that down. The iPad Max. Yeah, you can't really see that. The camera doesn't really do that. So we'll pull, pull that back up a bit. There we go. So, if I. Just trying to. Let's go back to this, so it's just showing me workshop. So we've got iPhone 7 5.5. So for this, what we need to do is I think I might need a new one. I don't know what it is. If anyone knows why my camera is freaking out. Please let me know because it was working. And then as soon as I try and record a video, it stops. So if I turn that on, wow, we have a short. We did have a short, so I can't really show you. Let me try and pull this down here. So if I show you that. This is the machine. So that's all connected. Everything's all on. And then, as soon as I turn the button on, here, watch the bottom set digits jump straight up, full short. Nearly three amps of short. So that's actually quite high. Um, I'm probably going to turn that down a little bit because I don't need to find. Three amps. That is just to take check that we're not doing anything else. If I just connect this from the phone and I turn it on again, yeah, it doesn't do anything. It's definitely the phone. Got full short. So let's just put this back up here. I should really get more than one camera and maybe just one that actually works. So there we are. You're back up there. So I think the next step of this video is we've done this, we've opened it up, we've tested that there's a short I'm gonna strip down and once the get we'll get the back once the board is back, we can then find where our short is and then clear it. Okay, so I'll pause this. Alright, so I'm back. Um, what I've done is got the board out of the rest of the phone. Um, so we're going to find that short. I've set up the thermal camera. Now I do need to get a special lens um, to go on the end to sort of get it like Mac. Um, and it'll work a bit better. But it's just the, you know. I want to get a. I want to try it. So I'm trying to sort out a phone for it. Now I've finally been able to sort the phone. So if we turn that, which is our power supply, because it's going to be flying off the desk. So if I turn, if I move the microscope out of the way, and. Um, Can kind of see that anyway. So if I turn that light off, that's better. So we don't actually need that at all. It's hard for you. Let me try and see if I can bring this round. So, so you can see what I'm saying. There we go. That's bear me a second. 
There we go. Oh, I've got plenty of threads. So, this is kind of what we're seeing. So, you can just about make out the ball. So, I will try and get this. If you got the spot, but that's reflective heat. Um, all that is really is. So it's really, really hard to try and hold this here, actually. You need a tripod. No, that's not working. Give me one minute. Let me try and find a way of trying to stand in the camera somewhere. Let's try and hit my box. This will reach a bit here. Okay. Let's see. Can you see that right so? So if we look at this, we've got this over here. Um, the call is more over here than because of the camera. So here we can kind of make out this is the sim tray. Um, I can't really win with this. I need to try and record this video. So you've got the sim tray here, then this is reflective here, and this is reflective copper here. So I'm going to turn it on. If we can try and find the rough area, there's two ways we can do this. I can try and find the rough area of where all the heat is, um, and then narrow down the area and go in with free spray to find the exact stuff. Now, I'd like to pop a free spray. This of air dust, but if you turn it upside down, spray with a straw, it comes out all icy and it does the job. The other thing I have got uh, in this tray here somewhere, if I can find it, here we go, is some of that like rosin or resin. Um, it's like hard, but then it kind of smokes out the board. I can show you that another time if you don't already know what that is. Um, but if you can kind of see that. What we're going to do I'm oh, kind of focusing Let's flip the switch on and see what is getting hot So if I show you that there, it's pretty much showing that whole bottom section is the bit that's getting hot now. I don't think we can get any more. Without the macro lens that we want to get, let me turn this over. Oh yeah, so we got There's a 
to, for you to see there, but it does show us heat. So that is getting warmer for our daughter. If I turn that off. Oh, that's, that is hot. Oh, wow. It's hard because you can't see it because I need it my angle and your angle. If we do that, we can see it's slowly coming down. It's showing 100 odd degrees. Now, with the macro lens, it will. Cool down a little bit. Short is definitely down from here. Um, now, I don't think any of that's reflective heat, so you can kind of see a little bit what's going on on the screen. Let's turn that back on again. That was really, really hot. So, without the lens, if I put you, yeah, I'll just bring back the shell. Oh, yeah. So, with, without the actual lens, um, it's going to be hard to really pinpoint which bit is at fault. Obviously we can get a rough idea, we can see that it is this area. Um, gosh, I can just take a picture. It is cool and quite rapidly to be fair. So if I do into our gallery. So that's a picture of the area, that's the bottom of the wall. You can see the top bit up here. Um, that's the cable there. We need the macro lens, which I'll show in another video. That will obviously show us more zoomed in and um, magnified to what we need. So what I'm going to do is, because uh, I've found that by heating, yeah, by feeling it anyway. But what we're going to do, I'll turn the scope back on the scope. Right, we are on now. So bring, I'm going to bring this back over. Um, get you along here as well. So we know it's on this side because of how hot it was getting. Now, if we look, actually, if we look in there. There it looks very, very burnt out. Um, I'll look just in there. That looks burnt out. Um, some of this other stuff looks kind of burnt. Um, trying to see if we can come out of it. Just look very careful, Scoop. To be fair, it all just seems like it's down here. I wouldn't mind better than that. This obviously being a big cap is possibly so. What we're gonna do, uh, I've got another camera, so we're trying to just find the short, clear the short, and get our data. Yes. So I'm going to literally, wow, can you see that as quick as that? This is our bad part. As quick as that. So we found that. So compared to the two, we're there. I'll do that again. I'm gonna click it. That it was definitely click it on, click it off. It's that 
top one. So let's get this solder out and just see as soon as we get some heat in there. Let's just try and remove this cap because it is short. We can't have it on there. And hopefully that is the only cap on here that's actually causing a problem. So let's flip. Usually they come off all in one piece. Especially if they're done. But let's see. Alright, let's get some books. Let's put some of that in there. A lot more than what I really need, but okay, let's I think I must have been that short that it's actually welded itself. Up you come. There we are. Let's just clean up a little bit. If we do have to put a new cap, I'm pretty certain that we won't need to put a new cap on this. So let's do that. This give this man the hole and get it clean up. Right. So with this and the other minus the time of Minus the time of what we've done. So you can see there, um, I've kept, so you just compress there now to just blast the board. So that was the cap that was coming up shoulder short. Um, we make sure obviously we're connected on here. Let's just turn it on again and just see if we're actually shortened. No, we're not actually. We've cleared the shot. Um, while we are on the, while I have this look, recorder, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it just back, back in the actual housing, so don't need the microscope anymore, so let's just come back to me, put that in there, um, let's look at the camera, so this is a data recovery job, as I've said before. Um, even though it's data, I do like to try and keep everything all nice in the phone. Um, because, you know, it's somebody's phone. I don't want to mess around with it too much. Um, let's hope that the screen does actually work. So, I won't bother connecting the top in. Clean that connector up a little bit. I can't really see what I'm doing now. Um, let's try and see if I can see a better angle. Uh, I don't know if I'm sure that fixes onto the screen somehow. Don't even know how to do it. Hang on. 
spare me one second. So that comes up there. Ah, there we go. As long as I don't fall off. There we are. That might be another. Let's see, it's on top of the soldering station. So that's in there. We take our eye power cable. I'm going to plug in. So we just turn this screen over. What we'll do is we'll turn this light off. So, are we going to get an Apple logo? If we are, the work is done. Graham on this screen could be bad and we could have no backlash. So, what we seem to be doing, let me try and see. I'm trying to shine the light on this. Nothing coming off. Right, let's turn it off. It's, it's drawing and it's booting normally, but there is no image. Now, is it dirty connector? Because obviously we're then using some flux. Um, could be, because it's not exactly what the grey is. Let's try a different brush. Um, also, if we try a known working screen, obviously this one is liquid damage. So, I'm not expecting anything from it. Give that a clean in the glass. Uh, let's see what I've got. Okay, another black screen. This is from my refurbishment box because that is what I do. Refurbishment of screens. Um, this kind of thing is just like a little, just a small part of the business. The same again. Aha! And we have Apple logo. So maybe it was just the screen as well that was faulty. So we've cleared the short. Um, let me just turn this. And just watch this. Give us a second while this load up. Just spill alcohol all on my hand. So, touch is working. And if I can try and get this brighter, if you can see that on the camera. But, phone is alive. We've done it. So, next stage is for me to just have a part on the customer. I'll tilt you back up now. Put you, put you back up the top. So I got the phone working. I'm gonna get the passcode from the customer and go in do the backup, but he'll probably be able to get his data himself. So I used the thermal cam, uh, although it wasn't essential in this job. You still need to get the lens. Um, it basically it's like ma it magnifies it, it more focal. Um, I could have felt that heat without the camera. Yeah, I just wanted to give it just a bit with being a new toy I wanted to try that um so yeah we have, yeah where was it? yeah so I've done that I uh, connected it up found there was a full short from the short I then detected with a number of ways I use obviously I can feel the heat myself use the thermal camera just for fun um we'll do a proper video on that one when I've got everything I need for it um it's kind of like you can use it a bit, but for what I need it for, I do need more. 
but we'll cover that another day. So once I found the area where the short was, I did come in with the air dust that works as a free spray. So all I did was that was I turned the can upside down and sprayed and let's show you this. That yeah, that comes out as like very, very cold. So that worked and then just a quick click on and off of the actual um I Power Max by Quan Lee. I was able to it short show up straight away. Um, saw which of the two components went, so I cleared that component, um, fitted on a non good screen to test it, and then we had Apple logo. So that was that was getting data on that, and it took a lot quicker than what I was expecting. I was expecting to be on the job to let it go on for hours and hours. Um, I will point out, I have noticed this camera in particular it is a Logitech webcam. Um, Says it's 1080p that I've been working on. Um, notice this key on the phone, the audio is slightly unseen. I'm going to see what I can do with that in editing, but um, if any of you know why the camera is jumping, not the microscope camera, the actual main one that you're seeing me right now, it is a Logitech web camera, G920, something like that, I think. Um, if you know why, let me know, that's going funny because I do want to solve that. And I will have a look myself. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed the video. I will get more um, more videos done soon as when we get interesting things to show. And yeah, see you all next time.